Alright guys, for breakfast I'm going to be making egg and cheese with turkey bacon little English muffins for breakfast. This is something I've never done. Um, I've never really made anything where I'm going to freeze in the freezer for meal prep. But I wanted it to be easy and quick and I wanted this to be something you guys can just take out of the freezer, pop in the microwave at work or at home. Something really quick and easy but really yummy. So I have these multi-grain light... English muffins. These are 100 calories each and three smart points. So if you're on Weight Watchers, they're three smart points. If you're counting your calories, they're 100 for one. So you'll need some kind of English muffin. You'll need some turkey bacon. I have some turkey bacon here. You'll need some eggs. I'm going to be using this reduced fat American singles because I feel like that's closest to like what an English muffin is if you get it at like McDonald's or Dunkin Donuts. <laughs> I have a one fourth cup of unsweetened milk. I'm going to mix that into the eggs. And then for seasonings I have here some onion and garlic powder and salt and pepper. I'm going to pour that into the egg mixture. And that is all you really need. Alright so I am going to do six eggs and the one-fourth cup of milk. I'm going to add one-fourth cup of milk. Oops, just spilled a little bit of that. And you can use any kind of milk, a low-fat milk, or any kind of unsweetened almond milk, oat milk, cashew, whatever you prefer. Um, I like to use unsweetened because it keeps it zero points for one-fourth cup. I'm going to add my seasonings. And then I'm just going to whisk my eggs together. Here I have a little dish um, lined with olive oil spray. I'm going to pour the eggs in here. And then I'm just going to let this bake, and then once this is done baking, I'll make out little squares for the English muffins. So I'm just kind of cutting the English muffins and just place them onto the sheets. So I'm going to have to do four, and then the last two I'll have to do after. But I am going to spray, I can't believe it's not butter, onto the English muffins. And then I'm just going to pop these into the oven and let them get a little bit crispy. Not too long, maybe like 5 to 7 minutes. And then I will cook the next two. Alright, next, while that is cooking in the oven, I'm going to microwave my bacon. And I'm going to do six pieces of bacon, so one on each. So I'm going to microwave four, and then I'll microwave the next two after this one's done. And all you do is just put it on paper towel, and then cover it with a paper towel. And then for four slices, I'm going to cook it for about three minutes and 30 seconds. Alright guys, the English muffins are all done, and crispy and toasted. I have the eggs here. I ended up just doing squares, so just like this, quick squares. This is the bacon, how it turned out in the microwave. And then the cheese is right here. And now I'm just going to go ahead and assemble the little English muffins. Alright guys, I have six sheets of aluminum foil. I'm going to just go ahead and 
cover these up with aluminum foil and these will go into the freezer. So how I'm going to reheat these is just cover them with a paper towel. I will cook it for a minute and then turn it over and cook it for 30 seconds. So that's how I'm going to do it. Um, these look so good you guys. Look at this. I really like how everything turned out. This is my first time ever making these and I'm, <laughs> I'm into it. They're all packed up and ready to go into the freezer. Alright guys, for the next recipe, I'm going to be making a French onion zoodle bake. So you will need three zucchinis that we are going to spiralize into zoodles. You'll need a onion, just one onion. I'm going to be using reduced fat mozzarella shredded cheese. You'll need a little bit of flour. I have three tablespoons of flour in here. You'll need some beef broth. I'm only going to be using a little bit. And then for seasonings, I have dried parsley, salt and pepper, onion, and garlic powder. And you'll also need a casserole dish for this. So that is it for the ingredients. Pretty simple, and I will show you what to do next. Okay, so first I'm just going to cut the ends of my zucchini. Place that aside in a bowl and then cut your onion. Okay, next, we're going to do the zoodles. So you just spiralize them. I'm going to do it on, I think I'm going to do it on thin. I like them on the thin side. So I'm just using a handheld spiralizer and you just twist it and get them into little sizes of noodles. And then once I do all three of these, I pat dry it with a paper towel, get all the water out of it, and I add a little bit of salt because that helps dry it out. So I'll add salt to this bowl um, and toss them and then dry them with a paper towel. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this because this does take a good, a good five minutes to do all of these. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Alright guys, here is the zoodles. I salted them and dried them. I'm going to just set those aside. And then I'm going to turn this pan on right here. I sprayed it with olive oil spray and I'm adding the onions to the pan. I'm going to let these onions cook down and I'm going to saute them, get them pretty soft and then we're going to add the beef broth and the flour and make the French onion gravy for these zoodles. So go ahead and just let this sit and cook and then I'll show you what to do next. Alright, I made a little hole in the onions because now I'm going to add one third cup of my beef broth. And I'm going to slowly start adding flour. So for the first one, I have one tablespoon of flour. And we add two. We'll do two. So two tablespoons of flour. And slowly kind of just whisk this together. Add a little bit more of your beef broth. We have another one-third cup. Add one fourth cup of water and mix that together. So two thirds cup beef broth and one fourth cup of water. Next, I'm going to add in my seasonings. All right, now that it's kind of boiling up, you're going to add your zoodles to the pan. And 
then just start kind of tossing the zoodles with the gravy. Get everything coated. Alright guys, I have a casserole dish here. I measured out four ounces of the cheese the reduced fat mozzarella cheese. I did four ounces. I don't know if I'm going to do more of this cheese, but that's what I have so far. Next, I'm going to add the zucchini mixture into this casserole dish. Just add it all in there. Then I'm going to add the cheese. I want to mix the cheese a little bit in here so I'm going to kind of give it a little stir so that there's cheese throughout and the remainder I'm going to put on top so four ounces is plenty it's a lot of cheese but you really want this to be cheesy and have like a big layer of <laughs> cheese on top trust me trust me all right, next I'm going to put the remainder of the seasonings I have in here. If you didn't have any leftover, just add the same the same seasonings, the onion powder, salt, pepper, and parsley. There we have it. And we're going to go ahead and pop this in the oven and let it bake. All right, guys, here is the Zoodle French Onion Bake. It looks so good. You definitely have to let this sit because it holds a lot of liquid from the water in the zucchini. So I did halfway through, drained the liquid, and then put it back in the, the oven. And then I'm just going to let it cool for a while, and then I will cut it up and put it in its containers. But it looks so good and cheesy. And I'm so excited. I hope it turns out really good. Alright guys, for the last recipe, I'm going to be making a taco dish. This is kind of like a taco casserole with some beans and meat. And instead of rice, we're going to be using cauliflower rice. So you'll need a bag of cauliflower rice. Some reduced fat Mexican style shredded cheese. I have 93.7 lean ground beef. You'll need some taco seasoning. For the cans, you'll need corn, diced tomatoes and green chilies. This is the Rotel Mild. I love this stuff. Some black beans. And then for veggies, you'll need onion, a green pepper, and then I'm going to be adding cilantro and green onions. I love this combination together in Mexican dishes. I feel it's so good. I'm going to add my ground beef to the pan. And I'm going to cook that until it's brown. Alright, next I'm going to cut up my green pepper and my onion. And I'll probably skip through some of this because you guys have seen me do this so many times. I'm going to go ahead and add my green peppers and onions that I chopped up. Go ahead and add that to the pan with the meat. You want this to cook together. And give that a little stir. Combine all that together. Alright, next I'm going to go ahead and microwave this really quick. I Alright, next I'm going to take my taco seasoning and I'm going to add some of that into this mixture. One, two, three. We might add more, but for now, add three tablespoons, mix it together. Okay, 
we have a baking dish. I'm going to add the cauliflower to the pan. This is the replacement of rice to keep it nice and low in points. Just going to flatten that out. And then what I like to do since I like flavor in every bite <laughs> is I'm going to season this with the taco seasoning. So I'm going to add one tablespoon of that. And then just give it a good mix. Trust me, it's good. It's way better like this. Adding some flavor to the bottom so that when you get a bite of it, it's not bland. Alright. We're going to add that meat mixture with the veggies. Just pop that right in there. Flatten that out. Oh, it smells so good. So we pretty much used all of the taco, taco seasoning um, packet, so use the whole thing. There's quite a bit of veggies and meat here, so it needs a lot of flavor. Um, but I'm just sprinkling it to the top. Okay. So, there you go. And then, take your scissors and cut some green onions onto your dish. And I'll also cut some more once this is done. I'll put some fresh green onions on top as well. But I'm just going to add a little bit for it when it's baking. So I measured out three ounces of this reduced fat Mexican style cheese. I have it right here and I rate it on the scale. I'm going to just sprinkle that cheese on top and then we're going to bake it. And here it is. We're going to go pop that into the oven and let it bake. I'm going to go ahead and cut up some cilantro to put to the top of this. Looks so good. I'm going to add some green onions, some fresh ones. 